Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to create a simple singular field form and submit it to our Salesforce org. But before getting started, if you like my videos, please subscribe to this channel. So in this video, what are we going to do is, I am going to create a normal input box with a button and as soon as I click on this button, an account record should get created automatically with this form. I should not go to the account page but instead I should be over here and I should be able to pull the put the details over here and I should submit the data as per as the need. So let's move to our account page but before getting started uh, we should go to the, like we are going to create an account record right but before getting started we need to go to the account uh, object itself and check whether there are any kind of validation rules or not. This is only an experienced person is going to be able to tell you. This is the reason. The reason is because if there are there are a, there are any validation rules, and if you are not uh, adhering to this validation rules, or if you are not satisfying to this validation rules, you won't be able to create the record using LWC as well, or even the trigger as well, right? Before getting started, you should check are there any kind of validation rules, right? So first, I'm going to check there is a validation rule saying that. I think so account must be blank yeah is blank account number the account number is blank if there is the account number if I do not put any value inside the account number I, it will throw an error else uh, the things would work fine but it's inactive so that's fine right next thing that we have to check is there are any triggers or not because we can write error messages in two ways one of the way is validation rule another way is trigger so I'm going to also go to the trigger and check is there any specific error that we are firing okay i don't think so account trigger handler account create contact So I can't see any add error so that's fine that's a green signal also there is one more trigger named as test let's check that out as well so again there is no validation or there is no add error inside these triggers right so we are clean to go we can write go ahead and write the uh, LWC uh, component easily so now if you have uh, watch my previous video i have already created a lightning input i will provide the link in the description i had provided the lightning input and on change of this lightning input whenever i used to add the values to this lightning input handle change on change used to work and handle change used to get called inside this handle change what i was doing is inside the handle change <coughs> using event dot target dot value i was getting the name or i was getting the value that is passed to that uh, input box right as soon as the user is going to put any value to the input box that used to get passed to this variable this dot account name which was a variable of lwc now the account name is populated with that particular account name right once that is done once the input box has been filled by the end user he used to go and click on get data button as soon as you used to click on the get data button on click of this get data button handle click used to work and inside this handle click what we were doing is we were making an imperative call by passing the account name right i was passing the account name whatever the account name i was uh, providing inside the input box i was passing it to this imperative call method which is nothing but an apex call uh, which I, where i was making an apex call uh, inside this method what i was trying to do was as you can see this is the method right inside this method i was just trying to query the record that i wanted Right. I was just trying to query the record but in this video what are we going to do is we are going to create a record instead of querying just the record so everything would be as it is all I have to make changes to is is the apex class instead of querying the record I have to create the record so I am going to change the record type as let's say void and what I am going to do is I have to create a record right so first I am going to instantiate the account object and then name equals to acc name 
let's save it okay there are few errors okay insert account that does not exist oh new sorry sorry new account so our account variable has been instantiated and inside that i am passing the name and once the name is passed i am inserting the account as there are no validation rules or the trigger related to account which will fire an error message my account should get inserted successfully and after inserting the account i'm just going to write a system.debug to check whether the account has been inserted or not I'm just going to clear the log, save my LWC component and deploy it. And let's move and create an account. So the button name uh, is not as per as our need. I'm going to rename it as to submit. Or let's say create account. <coughs> yeah. Now what's going to happen is, as soon as I start clicking, or uh, as soon as I start entering the values inside it. This input box inside this input box. This is the input box, right? This is the input box as we can see if I try to put values inside this input box What's going to happen is every time I put some value there is an on change and on change is going to run and handle change is going to run Right inside this handle change. I'm storing the name of the account that I want to get created inside this variable Right, let's do it. Let's say please Subscribe to Salesforce in five minutes right so we have created this account just now uh, we have inserted the value now what's happened is every time i've made changes this dot account name is getting populated with this particular name now the next thing what i'm going to do is as soon as i go and click on the create account this button is going to get fired lightning button this button is going to get fired that is create account button and and on click of this button handle click is going to run inside this handle click what are we doing is we are making an imperative call this is nothing but the pseudonym of our apex method get imperative data right uh, from the lwc learn apex class so inside this what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to pass a parameter that is this dot account name the account name that i have captured at the top i'm passing it as a parameter now what's going to happen is automatically whatever name that is i have that this this name that i've inserted will get passed as an acc name and then I'm creating an instantiating an account uh, variable and once that is done I'm populating the name with the name that I've passed as a parameter and then I'm inserting the account and if the account has been inserted successfully I will get a system.debug so I'll just clear the lock and let's see whether things are working fine or not so I'm going to click on create account and the log is generated let's see so yes our account has been inserted the id of the account is this as you can see please subscribe to salesforce in five minutes and it has been created just now 858 this is uh, according to the gmt time zone but yeah uh, the record has been created successfully right using the lwc component so this is how you create a form to submit the record in our salesforce org if you found this video helpful please subscribe to our channel